Alrighty, hi everyone. So, I'm just making this video to give a quick update on my filmmaking plans. So, just looking, I got some dried skin I peeled off there. My cheek's red now because of it. <laughs> I did that last night. Anyways, that's, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because, um, what's it called? Let me turn the air off. Um, I'm here to talk about my filmmaking plans. So, pretty much, I did the 12 feature challenge last year to see if I can make 12 feature films in a year. And I failed. Ultimately, because I went to Texas and I lost all creativity while in Texas. It was so hard for me to create. Um... And now, I did work on music while I was there, so that was kind of my creative outlet, but uh, I'm more focused on filmmaking again now that I'm back in the car. I feel like there's just some sort of energy in this car that helps me creating films. So yeah, my focus is that. But I've turned my focus towards animation. Uh, I'm working on a scene for the um, this uh an animation collaboration project for the Super Mario Brothers movie, the 1993 one. So if you don't know what reanimation is, it's like a bunch of people get together and they, they recreate a movie from scratch with their own um, clips and their own audio. Sometimes they use the movie's audio, but it seems like newer projects in this sphere are using original audio there's um there's a shrek one shrek retold that seems pretty well known and popular um and uh i have been wanting to do this since like tw uh 2019 i found there was a, a spongebob movie one and i wanted to be in it but they told me my art wasn't good enough and i wasn't uh welcome to participate so that was a bummer i didn't really try again but uh i i found a project i like and i'm gonna contribute to it so that's pretty exciting um i've been working on my scene i also have my uh my animated feature um which i put out a trailer for it's called uh the peasant his daughter no a peasant his daughter the witch and their children that was the name uh, which uh, there have been quite a few of you maybe watching this who, who've helped me out with the voices. I appreciate that a lot. And um, yeah, so that's still coming along. I have about four minutes of that complete. But uh, that's currently kind of on the sidelines while I work on this scene for the Mario movie. I'm going to be working on both, but... My main focus is on this Mario movie scene just because the deadline is September and I want to, you know, obviously hit that. Um, but the, this fairy tale movie is still very much something I'm working on and uh, I imagine it will take two to three years to complete. It might take longer, but if it does, it does. I have other projects going on on the side. It's not always going to be my main focus, but I know... This year, I am not going to do a 12 features challenge. I just want to put a lot of my effort into finishing the fairy tale. Now, as for the distribution of it, i that's something I've been thinking about, whether I want to release it in chapters or just a full movie when it's done. I am leaning towards just a full movie when it's done because I don't really like that more episodic release. I'd rather just have a complete movie and finish that. And then I might try to get a theatrical uh, premiere for it in Los Angeles. Um, I will only do it if the theater would do a free screening. That's my one thing. I don't want to uh, monetize this. I don't believe in that. And this will not be monetized in any way. Um... So, yeah, I'll have more information on that. And potentially, there is a theater in Albuquerque I was maybe going to try to see about getting it to play in, potentially. 
Um, and I would try to drive out to that if it did get played, but I don't know. That's way far in the future. I'm not really too focused on that. It's just kind of an idea. I also have a, a real-life film, not animated, that I'm going to be working on with a friend. Um, I'm not going to say the name, not going to give any plot details, just it's going to be worked on. We are going to film it. Um, and that will maybe come out in three to four months, I imagine. Um, shooting it, it'll probably take us a day to shoot it. I don't think much longer. I typically like short uh, shoots two to three days and uh, yeah especially if I'm going to be involving a friend I think just getting it done in a day is going to be the best course of action because it doesn't really take me that long to make like to shoot the films editing takes way longer just um, the nature of the beast uh, but yeah we'll do that and um get that movie made and that's really the only IRL movie I'm going to be focused on I'm more focused on animation at the moment I really want to get this fairy tale out to y'all um, but like I said I've only got four minutes and I imagine it's going to be about 80 minutes long um yeah some exciting news for the fairy tale movie I will announce here um I have I've casted uh Trent Linkarski in the movie and uh, he, he has voiced a character who will appear, um, which is uh, very, very exciting. Um, I'm very uh, happy to have gotten him involved and to have gotten his help on this project. It means a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's su super exciting. So, uh, yeah, that's very big news for the fairy tale. Um and also I appreciate all of you who have uh, you know just hit me up and said you wanted to help out and do a voice I appreciate that a lot there's a, a new there's um, Chuckle um, meme guy person I don't know what to call you because you have so many different names but you know who you are uh, meme guy person and uh, my friend John, um, got other friends too. I don't know what they wanted me to call them because they used different names in the credits and I forget what they were, so, but they knew who they are. My friend Sarah, she's helping out. She did a voice, little quick cameo. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. I do a lot of the voices. I've done like four so far, but I think I'm going to take on a few more characters. Um, yeah, I think that's everyone. I've had people reach out to, but they haven't given me audio yet, so I don't know if they're actually going to be in the movie or not. But um, yeah, I'm not going to say the people who haven't given audio because that's kind of iffy. I had one person who was going to do it, but they, they dropped out. Um, actually two people who dropped out so you know it's kind of iffy if that if you haven't gotten the audio yet you don't know if they're gonna actually be in the movie um so yeah i'm not gonna say the people who i'm waiting on audio from but yeah the people who have sent audio i will mention your names and i'm sorry if you did give me audio and i forgot your name i think i mentioned everyone but um there's like nine people i've cast so far so sorry Sorry if I missed you. Um, yeah. Also, A Moment in Time 2 is currently stuck in limbo. Essentially, it's a 17 gigabyte file. It's on my phone in the files. It's not in my photo booth. It's in the files app. And when I try to save it to my photos uh, app, it doesn't save. So, And YouTube won't upload from the files. It has to be a video inside your photos app. So I'm currently waiting till I can get on a computer and transport the movie from my phone to the computer, upload it from the computer to YouTube. Until that happens, uh, the film is kind of in limbo. I have it. It's just I'm not able to get it out, which is very frustrating. Um, I might try to find some alternative solutions to getting it out. 
we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, I know people are waiting on that, and I have not been able to get it out yet. I'm waiting on it too, I haven't watched it all the way through, I was waiting to do that when I released it. Because, uh, well I've watched it through obviously editing it, but I haven't sat down to watch it just straight through. Wow, there's two flies outside my window, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, because it is three and a half hours, and, uh, it's just quite a lengthy film. Right. It actually might only be three, three hours. It is over three hours long, though. It's my longest film, and, uh, my hope is that the, the long length is justified, that I didn't just, uh, you know waste people's time but it is very intentional how I've edited it and structured the film with you know I don't want to give out I'm not going to spoil anything but I'm going to talk a little bit about it just the uh, there's some very long shots in the film and uh, yeah I don't want to say much more than that but it, it is a long film and uh, it's it's slow it moves slow but it's purposeful and uh, my my hopes is yeah people will not feel like their time is wasted when watching it I certainly don't know how I'm gonna feel when watching it and I might recut it <laughs> but we'll see uh, that that actually happened with the first a moment in time I uploaded it it was a 40 minute cut of the film and I was not satisfied at all with it and I actually took it down and I put up a 55 minute cut because there was a whole segment at the end of the film that was not there in the 40 minute cut that I, I put in because I felt it was very important to the story I was telling and um, yeah so I included that. Um, and what what else? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of writing. I've been thinking about trying to write uh, a novel. Because um, I have this um, child's play erotica I was writing in um, the summer of last year. And uh, I wanted to finish the, uh, the erotica that I was writing. Um, it's not, like, um, meant to be, like, uh, sexy it's it's like a comedic erotica was the approach I was taking with it because it is like a child's play one and uh, I just think that's kind of funny to have a character like lusting over Chucky and I'm not going to say much more than that but um, yeah I, I just thought it's funny you know if you've seen child's play 4 you kind of know what I mean it's also called Bride of Chucky. Um, it's not called Child's Play 4. Um, but yeah, Bride of Chucky. You kind of know what I mean. It's kind of funny. Um, and uh, yeah, so that... And I also wanted to do my, what I thought the third movie should have been. Because I was not... I just thought... I don't want to spoil the Child's Play series. But I think the third movie is the worst one. And like it could have done something really cool with its story that it didn't and so that's kind of something I'm doing with my movie is my interpretation of the um, film not the full film but just I, I take some influence from it no, nothing is set in that time period this is set in the modern day but um, it, it is uh, heavily influenced by the third movie in one aspect um, yeah, so film plans, gonna just work on the animations, shoot this uh, movie with my friend, and see where life takes me. I'm trying to get more involved in other people's projects as well, um, like acting and uh, doing this, this animation collaboration stuff. So maybe I'll find some projects to act in. I think that would be fun because, you know, I don't have to edit it. I just can watch it at the end and see my performance, <laughs> which maybe is a little selfish. I don't know, but it, it can be a lot to edit every project. And like, I don't know. I want to see myself in more 
more movies and stuff like that, but I don't want to necessarily have to be the one editing the whole thing and putting it together. Uh, so, yeah, I want to act in more films. And, uh, yeah, if you want me to act in your movie, you could always reach out to me. I mean, I live in uh, Los Angeles right now, so keep that in mind. But I could also always do virtual or uh, just voice act for you. Um, so, yeah, if you want me in your movie, you can reach out. I would do it. Because um, I'm trying to get more experience with acting, experience with collaborating with other people, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, things have been okay. Um, besides that. I haven't been drinking since I've been back in my car. It's not really safe to, and I don't know. probably wasn't that healthy of me to start drinking again. But I was so stressed out in Texas, so I was just drinking to, like, kind of numb my pain and not think about it, which probably isn't the best approach. But uh, it certainly helped getting through those two months living in Texas. Um, still haven't been smoking. haven't smoked since uh, January 8th. 8th or the 7th, one of the two. So, yeah, I haven't smoked weed. I did smoke a cigarette, um, like, in April or May, sometime around then, but, uh, there's just one. I haven't smoked any cigarettes besides that, which is good. Um, yeah, still just kind of looking for housing. I have a doctor tomorrow. Hoping that goes well. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. But we will see. And uh, I'm, I'm just trying to think here at the end if I have anything more to add. Probably not. I don't know. I'm just doing my food reviews. Trying to uh, spread the good word of Sprouts. And uh, review the food. Get it, get it out there. Tell people what's good and bad. And uh, yeah, Sprouts is my favorite grocery store. But I did find a fly inside of one of the, uh, the pie boxes. Uh, not the pie. I think they were... I don't know. They're like pies, but they're like not really pies. They're like strudel. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's strudel. I don't know the word for it. But, um, yeah, there's a fly in it. It was kind of gross. And, uh, yeah... But I do have a lot of plans. I, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to be scripting films much anymore. But uh, I do kind of want to write a script. Because I read that Kristen Stewart was writing a stoner girl comedy. And I thought that was interesting to make like a stoner girl comedy. So I kind of was inspired by that. And uh, yeah... Anyways, that's that's it for the update. I don't have much more to say. Um, I'll just say again, yeah, if you want to reach out to me, you can for acting and stuff. My email is uh, cogcreation, K-O-G-K-R-E-A-T-I-O-N, at gmail.com. There's Discord. Um, you can message me on Discord. Uh... Zoe Zo 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 hashtag one five eight zero. It's Z O E Y Z O E Z O E Z U H Z O E Zoe Zo 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 Zo. That's Z U H in the middle. A U P U. Anyways, hashtag one five eight zero. It's the numbers. Yeah, you can reach out to me on Discord. Um. And uh, I'm on Twitter again, true and honest KGK. It's all one word, true and honest KGK. Anyways, that's it. Bye.